It has been a heck of a year this past 2021 with, oh, I don't know, an ongoing global pandemic, political unrest, historical issues with global supply chain and labor shortages. But that's all real world stuff. And that's not what we're here to talk about. We liked the wonderful escapism that is the world of fountain pens. And that's what we're here to talk about with you today of the hottest pens that we saw in 2021. Hello everyone, I am Brian Goulet. And I am Drew Brown. And we are here from GouletPens.com, and we've done this top pens list thing for several years now. And oftentimes we'll just release it in a chronological order so that we don't, you know, have to basically stand up to any criticism about the subjectivity of our list. But we decided to throw caution to the wind this year, and we are coming up with a completely biased and very opinionated stance about which pens are actually the hottest in ranked order, with the one caveat that these are pens that are only the ones that we saw come through GouletPens.com, since that's where we work and that's the pens we're most familiar with. So there may be others out there that you could argue are on the list, but this is how we're going to go about it. Let's get into it. Okay, Brian, we're going to start off the list with number 10. And this is a pen that's not new. Not at all. In fact, it's been around for quite some time. But let me tell you, this year belonged to the Pilot Custom 823 in amber, specifically. So the Pilot a, 823. A brown pen, really? A brown, a brown pen. pen. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, you would, sir. You would put this on. Recognize. It is a beautiful brown pen with gold hardware, that beautiful earth tony look that people love. And this pen specifically has cemented itself in the upper echelon of popular pens in that $300 price point. It's like the pen that you know, if you get this pen, it's the only pen you'll need. It won't be the only pen you buy probably, but you know it'll last. It's got a wonderfully reliable vacuum filler, a gold nib that writes super well, and the construction and just the visual appeal is excellent. And you know what you're getting from Pilot. You're going to get a great pen. Now, here's the thing about the A23 in Amber, Brian. This pen, as opposed to other pens that might be more popular because they have like a ton of different variety or colorways, variations in models, the Amber 823, that specific pen, that singular pen, best pen of the year for us this year. 2021 top pen, the Amber 823. So we have to put it on our list. It has just been rising in popularity. And in 2021, it just surged forward and now it is it is there it's up at the top and it deserves to be there next on the list we do have something that is new coming in at number nine the russian brand banu which has been come to be known as a i don't know very identifiable brand of pens sure you sure you, you can definitely tell which pens are banu because they are often faceted often uh, rather glittery, have usually some kind of ombre or maybe some luminescent aspect to it. Um, just really out there kind of designs that are honestly pretty cool. Uh, so it's certainly not to everyone's taste, but they really stand out. And they came out with a new model this year called the Euphoria. So really, we want to shout out the Euphoria model as a whole because they took the larger number six stainless steel nib and they built a larger pen around it that's very comfortable, very pleasing, very balanced look. And then they just did all kinds of cool, crazy colors with it. Over a dozen different colors this year. But the one that was really the standout was Vodka on the Rocks. So that color, it's a clear resin, has a little bit of a blue swirl in it but then it's just jam-packed full of this like silver glitter chunks and it just looks really cool <laughs> extremely distinctive and that one was uh, far and away the runaway pen and uh, we thought that Banu definitely earned a spot on the list this year all right coming in at number eight this year Brian we're going to be talking about the Twisby 580 ALR in Navy and if you'll remember which I know you do last year they came out with the Prussian blue 580 ALR Ooh. It was hot. It was that hot. was so hot. So hot. It was fire. Everybody loved it. So this year, they actually were able to uh, kind of repeat their success with the navy. This was less of a tealy blue, more of a true blue, but with that kind of dark, I thought it looked a little denim-y. It's a really, really good looking blue. Mm. And it, again, was super popular. It came out toward the later parts of the year. It's September we launched this one. But still, we're seeing great success with that. And it definitely seems like uh, these blue ALRs that Twisby are putting out, which are yeah. slight variations on their flagship pen, the 580, but with aluminum hardware and the ALR, 
has the um, kind of uh, textured grip section, which adds a bit of fun to it in my opinion. But either way, the Navy definitely cemented itself, not, not quite riding the coattails of the Prussian Blues success, but more capitalizing on yeah. the, the, the visual appeal that it has established. But Just great keep, pen. Keep the, keep the Blues coming. Just keep them coming to it. Yeah, do, why not? You're doing good. You're doing good. It was a great pen. This definitely deserves its spot. Okay, coming in at number seven, Brian, guess what? It's another brown chicken butt. pen. No, not chicken <laughs> butt. It's another brown pen. So um, we're going to talk same. about... No, it's not the same. Oh! Okay. Talking smack, talking smack. The Caveco All Sport in Golden Espresso, Brian, mm. Mm. was. Is that a, brown? Is that is brown? Is it really totally true? brown? It's, it's more totally of a brown. Gold. I don't Dude, know. It's brown. Look at the picture. Right. It's up on the screen right now. You can't see it, but it's there. It's brown. Okay. okay, so the thing about the Caveco All Sport is that it is an aluminum pen as opposed to the classic sports and all the other sports that are generally resin. So you're going to see a big price jump. So generally speaking, the All Sports have never reached that level of success as it's more moderately priced brethren. However, the Golden Espresso absolutely did reach that level of success. And it was amazing. Like We were really shocked, but honestly... After you see this pen, after you hold it specifically, the aluminum doesn't have like a cold, uncomfortable, sad feel to it. It's this cozy, soft, happy aluminum. And it's it, it really does feel nice. It's this matte finish, a little uh, satiny almost, but it's a great mm. pen. And really, you know, I shouldn't have been surprised because looking back, very cool definitely deserves its spot all right number six you were probably expecting sailor to be somewhere on this list and here we are so sailor is a newer brand for us we picked it up last year in 2020 basically right as the pandemic started to shut a lot of things down so that was cool great timing but uh you know honestly it's been a great brand for us and we have been really excited to participate in some of the new cool things that they've been coming out with like this one that we have here which is the sailor cocktail set specifically the cure azure which was the 10th pen in a decade long run of annual limited editions that they've had in this cocktail set we basically have watched on the sidelines as these things have been released and then we got to participate right at the end here which was awesome because we knew Cure Azure was going to be coming. We we're like, cool, blue pen looks great. It's got that lime cap. Awesome. Okay, excited about this. But then we actually didn't know that they were going to be re-releasing the entire decade's worth of pens in a special set. So that was just like so gratifying for us to be able to pick that up and be able to offer that to people who have been watching these pens come out, maybe got a couple of them or just recently discovered Sailor. And so be able to go back and get these past limited editions basically it was a really cool um so it was it was a great honor for us we thought it was solidly on the list and so that's why we put it here at number six all right we have reached the halfway point in our list coming in at number five we're going to be talking about the conklin duragraph black matte rainbow and before we get into that i need to make a declaration that 2021 was the year of the rainbow so mm. specifically Monteverde and Conklin, Brian, they really rainbowed it up this year. Oh yeah. So we have the Monteverde Regatta demo rainbow that came out toward the end of the year here. The all American rainbow from Conklin also came out. That thing was a whole lot of rainbow on a whole lot of pen. The Monteverde Innova with carbon and rainbow also came out. The Conklin Duragraph and full rainbow came out, but this is the Conklin Duragraph with black matte and rainbow. So a super popular model from Conklin but with just enough rainbow to be fun and exciting. The rest of the rainbows were super popular as well, but for those of you who wanted to taste the rainbow and not just swallow the entire thing, this was a more appealing uh, visual aesthetic for you. So yes, yes, you nibble the rainbow <laughs> with the uh, black matte and rainbow trim. So again, this is a like kind of an iridium-y, rainbow-y metal finish that we saw put on a lot of pens. But uh, with this black matte and rainbow Conklin Duragraph, it was more treated like a, an accent than a complete canvas, you know what I mean? So super popular, definitely deserves its place right in the middle of our list at number five. All right, coming in at number four, another newer brand for us. This was Tachia and their model was the Miyabi and the pens were the Winter's Breaths because there were a couple of different pens, uh, both called Winter's Breath. 
but there were a couple variations, so Winter's Breaths. Uh, basically, anything with Rodden is always going to be really impressive, uh, but this model, this design in general, just really blew me away personally. I was completely taken with it. Um, there have been some previous versions of the Miyabi that have been around since before we were carrying it, but we had the opportunity to be able to carry it as an exclusive in this latest variation of the Winter's Breath um, at Goulet Pens, and uh, they just knocked it out of the park. I mean, the combination of the abalone shell and just that like kind of twisty swirly pattern that they had on the pen that continues from the body to the cap and then all the eggshell that's on there that gives it that kind of like wintry, snowy kind of feel. Oh, my goodness. I know you like it the uh, so you good. like that grip section too. Oh, the grip, yeah, too, with the shell that just kind of like starts to dissipate a little yeah. bit. Oh, it just looks so good and just so unique, stands out. I just, they really, really nailed it with this one. And then we found out they were coming out with a larger version of it called the Empress Winter's Breath. And basically it was just a bigger version of a similar design. And this one had some like special design on the clip too. And oh man, it just looks so good. So. That was really cool. And it was actually pretty notable for Tatya as well, because relatively recently, maybe last year sometime, they started to have it where um, Sailor is actually making their nibs for them. And this was the first pen. This Empress was the first one that they've had the King of Pens size nib that Sailor made for a Tatia pen. So it was notable for them. It was notable for us just all around with these two different models. And it looked phenomenal. So we're very happy to put this one on the list and call it a memorable pen for 2021. All right, speaking of memorable pens, the one that's on number three on our list is not only memorable but because it's new, but it's memorable because it's a throwback. So Drew, I know you're a fan of all things 80s. And this is a throwback to the 80s as well because Lamy brought back their safari that they did in the original colors, Savannah and Terra. So they brought those back as their special editions this year. Now they've been doing special editions for a number of years, sometimes singles, sometimes multiples in recent years. And I did not know that they would do multiples. I did not know that they would bring back both of the original colors, which look phenomenal. Savannah, I was hoping for years that they would bring back because I thought it was a great color and it's just cool for that kind of historical aspect. You know, it's a 40 year old design basically and you know, to be able to bring back that original color. It's pretty awesome. So they nailed it with both of these. The Savannah ended up being a little more popular than the Terra. Probably not a shock because I think just dark greens in general were pretty popular this year. And uh, we definitely saw that happen in the safaris, but Lamy, you nailed it. So glad you brought these back and so are a lot of other people because there's a lot of people that now have these pens and are enjoying them. All right, we are approaching the end and we are gonna talk about number two on our top 10 pens of 2021 list. And it's another Twisby. This time it is their newest model, the Swipe. And this one got me really excited this year, Brian. You know, I was really into the Swipe and for good reason. So when Twisby comes out with a brand new model, it's almost always innovative, creative, envelope, pushing and fun and the swipe is no exception it does all those things more importantly for me though i think this pen needs to be celebrated because of how fun and accessible it is this pen launched at 26.99 so it's super accessible for anybody looking for an entry-level fountain pen very giftable for this season and it gives you just a ton of options it's twisby's first cartridge converter pen in a while they're definitely not known for that they're more or less known for vacuum fillers and pistons i think it's first ever actually the micarta was technically a a oh. cartridge but no one really thinks about that but that's anyway, like an under, underground model. yeah, yeah we'll yeah. talk about that but this one comes with three different ways you can fill your pen it comes with a cartridge that Twisby made. It is a huge cartridge filled with a ton of ink. So if you want to just kind of start off simple, you got that. If you want to start off a little bit more conventional, but more than a cartridge, you have your standard converter, which Twisby also made specifically, but it's, you know, it's a piston converter, something that you, you know, have seen. And then they have another converter that is a crazy fun one, which is a spring loaded plunger converter. So if you really want to get wacky, you can play with that one. It's a ton of fun. Bing. You can fling springs everywhere if you are either uh, not paying attention or just feeling like acting a fool like Brian and I definitely no you 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 as well uh, stop it that was definitely your thing. you did it uh, just as much if not more I, anyway I, I egged you on I was like Drew you should totally fling that thing you know it's like I was like that guy that I was like yeah. I'm not gonna fling it but like Drew you should totally do it he was he was doing it <laughs> he was doing it um anyway it was a great pen 
entry level fun. Twisby is known for providing an excellent writing experience at an affordable price. And this one just checks all of the Twisby boxes. I'm in love with this pen. You should check it out. And it absolutely deserves its place at number two. Now we know that you've been looking forward to number one and we are gonna get to that as soon as we talk about the honorable mentions first. Ho! Oh, okay. Ah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about all the pens that we probably would have liked to put on this list, but then it wouldn't have been a nice round number 10. And we were like, we still want to talk about them, but you know what? Let's just call them honorable mentions. And that's just what we'll do because we're making all this up and we can do whatever we want. So I will mention uh, another sailor, which is the Naganata Togi. Now the pen itself is fairly conventional. It's a 1911. It's got that round top black pen you got a gold or a silver trim at least but you know slightly different center band but it's it's a pretty classic looking pen that's not what's the most exciting thing about it it's really the nib so it was cool not only because this nib is unique and sailor is the only one that does it it's kind of a blend between a sailor zoom nib and an architect so depending on the angle and stuff you hold it at you can get different line widths and all that we got a full video on it if you want more details but What's cool is that not only is Sailor a newer brand to us, but this is kind of a special nib that not everybody gets the opportunity to get their hands on. And we were deeply honored by the ability to be able to even offer this nib. So it was cool to be able to participate in the availability of that specific nib of the people that got it. There weren't a whole ton of them, but the people that got it was really well received, very popular. So that was pretty cool and historical for us. So it was worth a mention. Also worth a mention, Brian is the kind of runner up for the theme of the year. So I talked earlier about how 2021 ended up kind of being the unofficial year of the rainbow pen. Monteverde and Conklin also kind of did another thing this year, and that was abalone, a ton of it. So like they went ham with the rainbow, they also kind of went nuts with abalone it was bologna delicious and they slapped abalone on their enduras on their regattas on their uh, uh durographs and some were and these, these are just covered like brian mentioned like with the tachia sometimes japanese artists really are very conservative with their abalone their rod and display they're really making patterns and stuff these pens were more or less just covered in it just blanketed in various you know segments of abalone and in some cases mother of pearl as well there were regattas uh by monteverde covered in both black and white mother of pearl so Mm -hmm. These didn't quite reach the level of success that the rainbow pens did, but it was close and they definitely deserve to at least get an honorable mention in here because I don't think we've seen the end of the balloon. All right, now we're finally at number one. You all have been very patient. Thank you very much. And we have a completely unbiased and wholly objective pick for our number one spot, which goes to the Goulet Pens exclusive Sailor Stealth Green. <gasps> oh what? no! What? Total shock! Yes, okay, I get it. It's our pen, of course. It's, we're gonna be pretty biased towards it. We worked with Sailor to develop it. It was a great honor to be able to do that. But like, just looking at the pen itself, it's it's pretty rad, right? It so is, it dark, is. Dark green color, that black ion trim, the smoke finials, it's a shark looking pen. So we're really, really glad to be able to do this with them. Full disclosure, when we initially proposed an exclusive pen, we wanted to do blue, cause that's kind of like our thing. And we did get some people that asked, they were like, why didn't you do a blue pen? And we were like, we did ask, but they were already doing a bunch of other blue pens. So we had to go with our next choice, which was a dark green. But hey, look, it still worked out great. Definitely. Because it's a sharp looking pen. It was very well received. We did it in two sizes, the slim and the full size pro gear, which, Honestly, we thought the slim would be more popular because it was a little more affordable, but the full size pro gear outsold the slim. Who would have thought? So we actually ended up reordering, thank you Sailor for letting us do that. The, the full size pro gear, both, both versions sold really well. They let us do all the nib offerings and stuff and it was really great. So we were very thrilled, very honored, especially to be able to be involved in so many special things with Sailor this year. You know, it, it was a newer brand for us. We had the whole COVID disruption beginning last year. This year we've still disrupted, but we've figured things out a little more and being able to participate in some more of these special things really made it memorable for us. And the fact that this was our first Sailor exclusive was a great honor and that will cap the 2021 year for us in our memory and hopefully for a lot of you as well. 
So there we have it. That is our 2021 list. Please let us know what you think. Okay, yes, we handed up a little bit and you know, it's obviously, there's no objective list that's gonna be like this, but we thought, what the heck, we'll try it out and we'll see what the comments look like. So please engage with us and let us know what you think because that's part of the fun of this whole thing. Um, and if you are interested in any of these pens, a lot of them are, you know, past special editions and things like that that aren't available anymore, but there are still some that are, so you can check them out on gouletpens.com. Let us know what you think. You can find a lot of other great pens and resources there. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment, etc. Just engage with us because that helps it to get more people. And we're posting stuff pretty regularly. So if there's a lot of exciting fountain pen content that you can enjoy if you follow us. So there you have it. Thank you so much, everyone, for a wonderful 2021. We're looking forward to the following year that we have ahead in 2022. And above all else, please make sure that you write on.